what do we use overloading in selenium and what are the methods are overloaded in selenium and why do we need overloading hi guys this is kartik today we are going to discuss about overloading so what is overloading and why do we need overloading and what are the methods are or what are the methods are overloaded in selenium and why do we overload them so so what is overloading overloading is nothing but a class having more than one methods with same name but with different parameters so these parameters could be different in either uh, number of parameters or in type of parameter the overloading occurs in the same class for this video purpose i have created a class called overloading and created a method called add so we will so we will be overloading this particular add method and we will be calling this add method from our main method okay now so basically this add method will accept two parameters and it will print the result of addition of those two parameters okay so i have taken a simple example so that we will be able to understand easily and once we understand the simple examples we can go for the complex ones so always learn about the simple ones because simple ones gives the bigger idea of the bigger problems let's execute this particular method so i printed the result and the result is 30 that's the output of this particular methods execution okay so this is a normal method so if you want to overload we have to add few more methods with the same name with the different parameters but why do we overload that is a main question why do we overload is to have a standard throughout our framework or throughout our application so for example i'll create one more method and uh, you people think about that method how good that method is our method name is i have created one more method called add three parameters which accepts int i j and k and this also does the same job but it will add all three parameters and it will print the value now let's execute this particular method so let me call oil dot add three parameters 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay 1 comma 2 comma 4 let's execute it so the second method also gives the addition as the result and first method as well gives the addition as the result but let's check the names add and add three parameters do you think anywhere that these two are related or if consider like if there is one more method which is having the same name as add but it accepts the three parameters so would it be easy to call the particular method or to remember the method because when we are doing a particular operation with one parameter or two parameter or three parameter if you have a same name then it would be very easy because you just need to remember what are the inputs you have to pass not the method names consider like if you are writing a method like add three parameters and you will be writing add four parameters five more parameters if you write like 100 methods which except still 100 uh, parameter or something and do you think you can remember all of them it is very difficult but in case if we have method with the same name then it would be easy because you are going to call the add method whether you have four parameters or five parameters or six parameters the only change would be the number of parameters or the type of parameter right because the result is going to be the same that is addition of the numbers that you pass so let me write one more method called add so i will remove this extra name but i will add three parameters okay so we have total three methods one method with two one method is and one method is add which accepts two parameters and one more method is add which accepts three parameters 
and the final method is add three parameters which accepts three parameters so which one do you feel is better whether the add the three parameters or, or add three parameters but if you ask i would go with add okay so i will remove this particular method and now i will execute uh, let me change the method name here and let's execute let's see whether we are getting the same result or not see we got the same result and it is also very easy to remember so this is one of the use so what is the second advantage major advantage the second advantage is consider an application which has a login functionality and this application login page consists username and password so suppose you are writing a method for this particular login page and you have written in a way that login of string username comma string password okay now inside the method you will be writing like uh, driver dot find element then dot uh, send case of password username and uh, same way dot send case of password and you click the button so this is the process you can do inside the method and if you want you can add a couple of print statements after few months i add one more element in the web page in the login page that is a remember password and this remember password could be uh, depending on the method or sorry depending on the scenario it may change sometimes you may need to remember the password and sometimes you may not so would you hard code it inside the method inside the login method no right so you will be accepting one more parameter which is the remember password maybe you could accept it in a yes or no format mostly we should go with a boolean format true or false if it is true then you check the remember password otherwise you just ignore it and log in so this is how we will do it see now the simplicity so the first method is also login only and instead of editing the first method you will be writing the second method with login three parameters why because if you edit the first method into three parameters don't you think that already existing methods will throw errors because those are you know, passing only two parameters right so this is the one difficult part in java okay whenever you add extra parameter you have to add a new method or you uh, have to uh, append the existing methods okay in case if you are using a python or uh, type script or java script uh, there is a thing called optional parameter which means like you can pass or you can ignore it basically whenever you pass an optional parameter it is not mandatory you would be mentioning with a question mark in other languages so ignore it but because it is not present in java so you have to create a new method itself so this is the reason why we use overloading okay now coming into selenium which are the places we use overloading uh, let me remove these two methods and i'll showcase that what are the places selenium got overloaded methods so i have copy pasted a two lines of code and uh, let me import the statements so in selenium we have so many methods but there are few methods which are overloaded the first method i would say is driver dot switch to dot frame so this is the first place where you got overloaded methods see the first method is a frame and second method is also frame third is also frame but first one accepts int parameter the second one accepts string parameter and third one accepts web element parameter so even though these three methods are with the same name but it accepts different parameters so this is called overloading the methods present in the actions class are almost everything is overloaded at dot see 
click method the first click method accepts nothing but second click method accepts a web element okay these two are overloaded methods and this one click and hold accepts nothing and click and hold this particular method accepts web element here context click click accepts nothing in this context click it accepts a web element double click doesn't accept any parameter this one accepts a web element so on there are so many methods okay so these are couple of places where you got overloaded methods in selenium now let's move on to a test ng because test ng is the option of overloading okay so in test ng you have a you have a assertion called assert assert dot see in this one a method is present with assert equals okay so almost every method is assert equals the only difference is this one accepts a boolean and boolean and this one accepts boolean array and boolean array byte and byte byte array byte array char 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 array char array and goes on so these are the major places where the selenium framework got some overload obviously there could be more overloaded uh, methods okay as of now i want to give three examples i gave and if you know more than these methods are overloaded please do comment it okay don't forget i hope you understood what is overloading and why we use overloading and what are the places in selenium the overload methods are present okay if you want to know more interview questions you can visit our site which is chatter tech slash java slash selenium iphone web driver iphone interview questions otherwise you can search in google saying that chatter tech selenium questions and if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon if you want to get any notification thank you guys